Hi, I'm Archie. Welcome back to Archie and Drew. For the past 12 months, I've been helping my friend John and my other friend Anne-Marie help with their um, beehives. Recently, I went to visit Anne-Marie to help her monitor some beetles that are in her hive. I knew little about these beetles and uh, so I looked them up to find out more about them. Here's a few notes I wrote down for myself. This beetle, the small hive beetle, is native to Africa and was first detected in two states of Australia in 2002. They are about 5 millimeters long and a brownish black in color. These beetles invade hives and destroy them by laying their larvae in the brood combs. Also eat and contaminate the honey and in some cases cause the bees to abandon their hive. Unfortunately, there are no effective methods to the eradication of these beetles. Once you have them, you need to carefully keep an eye on them to make sure that they don't get worse. This is an ongoing process which I have um, been helping Amory with. Even though we can't get rid of them altogether, we may be able to control their population in her hive. It's been an interesting experience and fun to learn about the bees. I hope you enjoy this footage of us checking the hive. I've come to help my friend Anne-Marie do some bees today. So what's inside here is, um, you can see it, is core flute cardboard. Can you see it? Yep. Yes. They've, they've put inside that core flute, they've put poison for cockroaches, but it kills bees. So we're going to, I have one in the top of the hive, I'm going to sit that in the bottom of the hive, away from the entrance. And in the bottom here, in the bottom here, I've made a tray underneath the vent, so that the beetles will lay their larva in my hive, sadly. The larva will fall through here as little worms and it will fall into here and it will get crushed by the diatomaceous earth. It won't be able to complete the breeding cycle. In the past I haven't had that. So what happens is the larvae fall down into the ground, they burrow into the ground, they become beetles and they fly back up into the hive in their multiples and they are making it very very hard for my hive because they um, bees are working really hard to keep them away and they're not producing the honey that they should be producing in the super here at the top. Mm. <laughs> I'm not going to be happy if I'm taking the lid off. Now, I hope this is working. So what I'm going to do Take off the queen extractor, excluder, sorry. This stops the queen from going up into the honey section. Careful, mm. girls. Mm. Now, normally, everything is very solidly glued together, it is not the case. I'm doing this. Oh. Just giving them a new bottom so that we can fight the beetles a bit more. See the beetles? Oh, come over here. They're under here. I love crevices. Tool. Watch for beetles. See there? There's a beetle. And this is a beetle trap. There's lots of beetles underneath it. See? And inside it, look how many we've caught. Oh. So we may put a new beetle trap in there. Again, this is 
diatomaceous earth which causes them to be disabled <laughs> I'm trying to make it even I'm not getting much luck I do want quickly to check the health of the hive. I'm checking to see if there are if there's honey being produced, whether they're producing pollen and whether they're making babies. Oh, it's up. There's no honey here. There's nothing here and it's not a really great sign that it's at capacity. Off you go little one, off you go. I might leave that one out and put it back in at the end. What are you doing there? Goodbye. I'm just going to do this very quickly because we haven't smoked. So there is nothing on here. There is beetles though. See the beetles? Yes. Rotten things. They're everywhere. Now that's five, six, seven, eight on one frame. That's a lot. It's too many. In here we have honey, the shiny part is honey that hasn't yet been capped and we have to be very careful with this because we um, could tip the queen off and we don't want to do that. So this one has also capped honey and uncapped honey. Let me catch the shiny bits. These work very very hard. Watch out, oh sorry, watch out girls. Being as gentle as I can getting a bit grumpy. Hey. I won't hurt you because you're inside your suit. Um, in here we have white. See the white stuff? That's good. That's bees being produced. There's some honey here as well. Oh, that's bees being produced. Um, let's see if I can find any more. Yes, more pollen here. Um, more um, eggs that are developing. So I hope that they're all bee eggs. Okay, they're going to get happy here. Maybe the bees are Oh, take a photo of her. Oh, yes, there she is. Are you getting up? Okay, so we're going to put this. Yes, there she is. She's coming down now and going up again. So we'll put her back in. I do not want to lose her. She is. The you see all this yucky black stuff down the bottom? That, yes. the beetles are making that. I don't exactly know the why. But I know it's horrible to clean up. Good girl. That's the way. Okay, so now we're on top of the new place. I'm hoping that we will catch lots and lots of I can feel them whacking against me. Yes. The reason that our suits are white is it's the colour that they're least likely to attack. Sorry. And I'm just going to check how much honey they're making. So it 
see that beetle there? So they're up here to rob honey. Hurricanes. There's some more in here. Two, three, four. So that's five on this frame. It's not too bad and they're starting to make some honey. So I'll pop that one here. There's no queen up here because the metal between the two hives um, excludes her. So there's only honey up here. Normally at this time of the year these are full of honey and they're building it up into the top now. I'm very encouraged by that. They're starting to make more honey, which means that they're getting the victory over the bees, beetles, I hope. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, you can see beetles again. There's one in here, there you go. But there's only one. It's not as bad as it is down below. And they are managing. There's another beetle, two, three, four, one down there, five, six, seven, there's seven on here. But that's a nice weight. Weighs about a kilo. Oh, sorry, little girl. Let's check out the beetle traps. I only put these in last time. They don't have as many in. They're not as full, so that's good. Today I was hoping to take off some honey. So there's lots of honey and more beetles. One, two, three. Beetles there. Four. I'm kind of, I wanted to um, raid the honey because I don't want the beetles taking it all, but I'm starting to feel a bit confident that the beetles haven't taken control here. Not too many beetles up in here either. That's a good sign for me. Oh, that looks, looks weird. Look at this. Nothing. Yeah. Let's hope they make something soon. doesn't have very much in it. It's very dark. It's very dark. Dirty feet. It's old comb. And uh, it looks like here they've made a new queen and the queen has broken out. Now when that happens, very often they're starting to make swarms at this time of the year, but this hive isn't too big. So I don't... The queen may have got old. I want to replace her. This also is very light. So I've got two frames that are heavy and I thought I had more than that last time. I am encouraged that there's less beetles so. There's nothing in that. That's terrible. This is spring and we should have lots and lots of honey and yet we have two. That one? Not that. that. That one's got some honey in it, but not full. Oh, sweeties. That's good, girls. Okay, I'm going to leave you alone now, girls. Speed footprints. Okay, girls, we're going to close you up now. Oh, did we put this in? Oh, want to catch beetles. I hope there's hundreds of them in there. Out the way, girls. Out the way. Cheeky things, I tell you, that's a yucky old bit. Well, bye bye. See you later. How are they looking at the front, Archer? Huh. Um, um, it looks like it, yes. Not, not giant swarms on the front, but it's pretty good. Checking it out. Okay, what's changed? What has she done to us? The honey down the bottom we don't take because that's food for the bee family. So that's finished. Didn't take very long, did it?